Hello friends, in this video we will see the CIB and the uh, advanced bank management and the name of the unit is the money supply and inflation that means how money uh, supply and the inflation is related that we have to see in this unit. So see some uh, introduction part. The quantity of money circulating in an economy plays a vital role in determining the inflation. That means how the money in the economy relates the inflation is very important. That means total money in the economy that determines the inflation. See how the level of prices in general is determined by the quantity of money circulating in economy. A change in it leads to change in price level. That means see if there is a more money supply that means if there is a more money in the economy or the market that will uh, what it that will uh, lead to the increase in the prices increase in the prices and that will lead to the increase in the inflation that is the basic okay now let's discuss more about the money supply inflation and what are the causes of the inflation so friends see here what is our objective in this unit is the study the definition and the measures of money what is mean by money what are the measures of money and causes and the measures of money that is the causes and the measure of the inflation that means how we can measure the inflation so basically uh, this is very simple and easy unit friends see uh, what is the money right see money is an uh, we all know what is money but definition according to the definition see money is any object or a record money is any object or record that is generally accepted for a payment of goods and services and as a repayment of debts in a given country or socio-economic context that means basically a definition you can go through it it is just simple money is object or a record that is generally accepted for the payments of goods and services and the payment of debt that means we are doing using money we can buy a goods and service also we can pay the our uh, debts that is the basic now remember here the main functions of the money is to act as what do you mean by what are the functions of money basically what are the functions of money remember money is act as the medium of exchange right using money you can uh, buy and sell the good that is money acts as the medium of exchange second money is a unit of account right money is a unit of account second money is a store of value that means if uh, you are having 100 rupees today that means the value of 100 rupees after 10 years also will remain the 100 rupees that is nothing but the store of value money is a unit of account that means uh, money is having uh, if you are having uh, 10 rupees that means that having definite unit that is the unit of account store of value and then next is the standard for the deferred payment what do you mean to deferred payment deferred that means delayed payment that means delayed payment suppose you want to pay uh, 1000 crore rupees <laughs> suppose you have to pay 1000 crore rupees after 10 year that means uh, that will be the standard for the deferred payment that means if you have paid uh, five that means how you are paying that uh, 1000 crore will be remain 1000 crore that is nothing but the standard for the deferred payment that means for the delayed payment uh, remember friends uh, you have to remember that uh, 4 uh, 1 2 3 4 main functions of money because what uh, the question may ask IIBF like which of the following is the not a function of money just one once you go through this you will easily remember what are the functions of money uh, next is very important what is a money supply see friends what is a money supply money supply is nothing but the total sum of money total sum of money in a circulation in the economy at a given point what is money supply just remember it is nothing but the total money it is the total sum of money sir in the circulation in the economy at a given point of time that means if you want to say see if, uh, if uh, today is a 4th of jan and uh, at 4th of jan what is the total money in the economy that is nothing but the money supply okay now what are the four uh, common measures of money supply used in the India see very very important next is very very important based on this IIVF is generally asking numerical or we can say case study what are the four common measures of the money supply see 
very first is the m1 second is the m2 third is the m3 and fourth is the m4 that are the four measures of money supply remember what is m1 m1 is nothing but the currency with the public remember very very important you have to remember that four formula for m1 m2 m3 m4 iibf is asking numerical based on that that's why you have to remember very first what is m1 it is the currency with the public plus demand deposit with the banking plus other deposit with the rbi remember what is m1 next what is m2 m2 is m1 plus saving deposit with the post office saving bank m m2 is nothing but the m1 you have to add m1 plus saving deposit with the post office saving banks what is m3 m1 plus time deposit time deposit with the banking system what is m4 m3 plus all deposit with the post office saving banks excluding nsc excluding nsc that is the national saving certificate excluding nsc now where he see here some terms are they have given uh, what do you mean by currency with the public see in m1 we are taking the term currency with the public plus time de plus demand deposit with the bank plus other deposit with the rbi but what is the currency with the public see friends currency with the public is nothing but the total currency in the circulation that means total currency in the market so uh, you have to subtract the cash held by the bank cash held by the bank that means if you are having 1000 crore in the market on uh, and the currency held with the bank is 2 200 crore that means 800 crore will be your currency with the public okay now what is a demand deposit see uh, friends demand deposit is nothing but the the deposit which is payable on demand that means customer is having some deposit with you and customer ask you that i want the deposit for example mainly a saving and current account balance is the demand deposit customer any time can came to the branch and ask for the deposit that is basically demand deposit rest rest you can read through the notes next what is the time deposit time deposit is that deposit which is payable after some uh, fixed time that is not payable on demand that is fixed that is payable on some fixed time that is called as the time deposit uh, remember here i have already told you that numerical or case study based on m1 m2 m3 may be asked and what important uh, friends remember here m1 that m1 is called as the narrow money m1 is called as the narrow money and uh, m3 is called as the broad money m3 is called as the broad money remember this is very very important iibf already ha have asked the question on the same that is what is narrow money is called as m1 m2 m3 broad money is called as m1 m2 m3 which of the following so already this question is asked there is previously so remember m1 what is m1 is narrow and remember uh, m4 is not a broad money many people get confused that m4 is broad money actually m3 is a broad money remember here very very important next is your favorite topic is inflation that is directly linked with our da so that's why inflation what is inflation friends that you all know rise in the price that is the basic inflation so let's see inflation is a continuous rise in a general price level of the goods and services in the economy over a period of time that means uh, basically what is inflation that we all know that uh, we term day to day we are using that term that is inflation is rising inflation is rising that means basically rise in the prices of goods and services that's all Uh, inflation which cause a fall in the value of money due to the inflation the value of money decreases and another thing that due to inflation the same amount of money will buy lesser quantity of goods that is basic funda right if uh, uh, you you can buy this pen at 10 rupees and after inflation this pen value may uh, uh, increase the uh, price may increase up to 15 rupees that is the basic inflation okay uh, see friends inflation have some positive as well as negative effects inflation have some positive as well as negative effects very first what are the positive effects first is the mitigation of economic recession how e uh, economic recession can help to uh, remove the uh, recession how uh, inflation help to uh, remove the economic recession see uh, if there is a recession if there is a recession what the government will do to remove the recession uh, government will infuse more money in the market infuse more money in the economy that's why if more money is infused that means uh, people will have uh, more cash that means uh, liquidity will increase in the market right that's why the prices that prices will increase 
because people having more money they will tend to buy more demand will be more so prices will be goes up and once the price goes up that means that is nothing but your inflation that's why this is the positive effect that is the mitigation of the economic recession second uh, relief in debt by reducing in the general level of debt how because uh, you will get relief in the debt because once the inflation rises uh, government may announce any scheme regarding the debt or it may be that you are if you are you have availed the uh, loan of uh, 1 lakh rupees before 10 years and uh, due to the inflation the value of money goes down that's why you can uh, feel the relief in the debt that is the basic next is the uh, negative effect what are the negative effect of the inflation see there may there may be a loss in the stability the stability of economy may get disturbed that is the basic that is the uh, negative effect of the inflation next uh, uncertainty about the future there may be uncertainty about the future inflation that may discourage the investment and the saving the, if there is inflation the people will uh, try to save money that's why the direct investment the in in the uh, uh, that is for example investment in uh, in different companies or the in, uh, government bonds that will decrease and savings will decrease because because the paper, the people will try to uh, held cash in uh, in the market that means if there there is situation of inflation what people will do people will hold the more cash right that's why uh, the investment and the saving will decrease next is the hoarding of goods by the customers in anticipation of future increase in the inflation that means what do you mean by hoarding of goods that is basically uh, maintaining the excess of stock maintaining excess of stock that means people uh, uh, will have fear if there is inflation people will have fear about the uh, what will happen in the future that's why what they will do they will maintain the stock of the goods that's why that will lead to the further increase in the inflation that is nothing but the hoarding of the goods next what are the causes of the inflation why the inflation rises rises very first there are two types of the mainly inflation cause very first is the demand pull inflation and second is the cost push inflation remember friends very first we will learn one by one very first is the demand pull inflation what what do you mean by demand pull remember friends name itself it is a self explanatory what is demand pull demand pull that means see when demand is increases in the market when demand will increases the price prices of that goods will also increase right that's why once the price increases that is nothing but the inflation right i think you have come to know the concept what is the demand for uh, demand pull inflation demand increases that's why price increases price increases that is nothing but the inflation see you can read this uh, stuff in the notes for example as the purchasing power of the people increases it results in more demand if the supply does not matches the demand price level will increase this phenomenon occurs when the demand exceeds the supply and there is shortage of the product further which lead to the uh, increase in the prices that's why in simple words once demand increases price increases that lead to the inflation that is nothing but the demand pull inflation now demand can increase because of the several reason why demand actually increases that we have already learned in the previous uh, chapter right do if there is an increase in the income of the people the people tend to buy more that's why demand may increase second is the uh, free availability of supply of money leads to the more money floating in the economy if there is money, more money infused in the economy that may lead to the increase in demand and that will rise uh, that will lead to the increase in the inflation that are the basic that is mainly the if the income increases then demand increases and if demand increases then price increases if price increases that will lead to the inflation that is you have to remember how the sequence it is next uh, type of inflation or the cause of the inflation is the cost push cost push inflation remember name itself it is a self explanatory how see what do you mean by cost push push mean that means forced that means if the cost of the raw material is increased if the cost of the production is increased that will lead to the increase in the cost of the price of the output that's why if the price of the output that is the price of the finished good increases that is nothing but the inflation right that means if the cost of the raw material increases that will lead to the cost of the raw uh, production will increase that's why the company will uh, obviously have to do the decision that they have to increase the price and once the price increases that is nothing but the inflation okay simple see increase in the cost of production 
increase in the raw of uh, increase in the raw material cost and uh, also there is one reason that uh, is suppose uh, there is a natural disaster that is uh, some weather problem that may also lead to the cost push uh, inflation for example if weather is not suitable for your production uh, right then uh, you, you have to increase the cost of the product you don't have any option right that is the basic uh, some example just remember one important cost push means that the increasing the cost of production just you have to remember that's it that's the remember uh, thing next is the what are the measures of inflation remember friends what are the measures of inflation see what we have to study in these measures uh, inflation is the measure of the percentage change of the present price level with respect to the price level of the some base year that means inflation is measured using some base year how can you measure the inflation see suppose today this price of this uh, pen is a 10 rupees and in 2010 price was 7 rupees so you have to take some base year for calculation of uh, inflation so, suppose the price is 10 rupees in 2021 and price was 5 rupees in 2007 so how inflation is calculated what is difference difference is 5 rupees what is the base year that is 2007 that is the 5 right so multiplied by 100 you will get 100 percent inflation right in this is the, the in this way they, they may ask uh, one uh, mcq uh, based on the numerical right so we will st uh, see all in the detail see the the same they have given inflation formula present inflation is equal to price index in the current year minus price index of the base year into 100 and you have to divide here also by the price index of the base year price index of the base year what is inflation that i have already told you in the example suppose price of this uh, pen is 10 rupees to, uh, uh, into 2021 and 5 rupees in 2020 suppose in last year again divided by 5 rupees in 2020 and multiply by 100 this is the basic uh, formula for the present inflation calculation in the percentage form now remember that is not important when we solve the numerical uh, i will take the uh, that uh, all kind of numerical don't worry just remember here uh, just go through just go through the uh, overview then the uh, important thing is next see price indexes we have to remember very very important for your examination there are mainly four price indexes uh, first is the wholesale price index called as wpi food inflation index called as a fpi uh, third is the consumer price index very very important cpi uh, our da is linked to that that is cpi and fourth is the gdp deflator see friends next what is wpi remember what is wpi wpi is nothing but the uh, remember here wpi reflects the change in the level of prices of the basket of goods at a wholesale level remember just remember here wpi name itself uh, having wholesale that means prices are changing at the wholesale level it analyzes at a wholesale level and and wpi is having basket of goods what do you mean basket of goods uh, remember in the economy of the gdp we are having uh, some uh, like uh, we uh, how to calculate the uh, gdp for that we are having some basket it is called as actually a basket and in that basket there are different uh, we will take the different um, uh, items for example uh, for food we, we can take a chicken uh, vegetables then uh, uh, then other grocery items that you can take right that is called as the basically a basket and in wpi the basket is fixed that means that items are uh, to be taken into the count are fixed right and then just remember in the wpi it is a wholesale level and a wpi is always declared at a monthly wpi is declared a monthly and a wpi is also very important for take, making the policies that how policy decisions affect the wpi that is very important that means it is the official inflation index used to make the policy decision they may ask which of the following is used to make the policy decision wpi cpi fpi so you have to uh, choose the correct option that is the wpi is used for the policy decision okay next what is the food uh, inflation uh, index uh, name itself it is a food inflation index just remember it is used for the food group and uh, it is declared weekly very important you have to remember food inflation index is uh, declared weekly that's it you have to remember nothing extra you have to need to remember next what is the cpi cpi is very very important friends because our dearness allowance is directly linked with the cpi 
so that is also called as that's why that's why it is also called as the cost of the living cost of the living that's why our da is increases quarterly after three months that means uh, it is the nothing but the cost of living and it is remember uh, our cpi that is consumer price index it is uh, it is at a retail level it is at a re retail level and wpi it, it is at a wholesale level just you have to remember that that uh, cpi is at a retail level and one important thing you have to remember what see who is published who publishes the cpi cpi is published by the labor bureau labor bureau and that is the mainly the ministry of the labor and employment you can remember labor bureau and uh, by the ministry of labor and employment of the government of india that is very very important for mcq point of view okay uh, next what is the gdp deflator uh, i have already told you uh, what is the gdp basket in a gdp deflator what happen uh, in a wholesale price index or gdp that basket is fixed but in case of a deflator deflator name itself it is a variation right deflator that means uh, uh, it uh, if it is a winter season and in winter season people are mo eating more chicken that means and uh, chicken is not included in that uh, item basket uh, if you are using gdp deflator you can include that chicken item in the calculation of the gdp right that is basically a deflator okay i think you have come to know what is mean by gdp deflator and important thing just you have to remember here uh, see here you can include item in that basket that is uh, for example chicken is eaten more you can include the ch ch uh, chicken in the calculation of gdp right that means this uh, method that is gdp deflator method is more relevant and the efficient okay now see here that's why just remember gdp deflator it is the major of lever of the prices and remember the only word it is more relevant it is more relevant and the more effective more efficient just remember that okay uh, okay now i have explained you almost all the things now uh, what uh, rbi money supply and inflation how rbi control the inflation see friends uh, we have already learned how inflation is related to money supply and money supply is controlled by rbi see uh, i will explain in the brief here uh, if uh, rbi if rbi infuses more money infuses more money in the um, economy then what happen people will have more money then inflation will increase to control the inflation how rbi works if there is more inflation what and uh, what rbi will do rbi need to if uh, this is more money this is more money in the economy rbi need to suck the money from the market how rbi can suck the money RBI will increase the CRR that is cash reserve ratio so automatically banks money will be held with the RBI that's why inflation can be controlled this is the basic phenomenon be, be, uh, behind the money supply RBI and the inflation uh, that we will uh, going to study in the uh, next chapter that is monetary and fiscal policy so basically I have given idea uh, how RBI control the inflation this is RBI this is your market if the market is having more money more money then RBI suck money from the market to control the inflation if there is less money in the market RBI may uh, uh, deposit that is uh, may infuse the money in the market so that inflation can be controlled in this way RBI control the basically uh, inflation okay by sucking the money and by infusing the money just remember that but uh, how RBI can uh, infuse money by decreasing the uh, rate of interest by decreasing the rate of interest rbi can put money in the market and uh, by increasing the crr and slr rbi can uh, increase the uh, they can suck the money from the market that is basically uh, that uh, you all know i think you all know that how rbi can control the inflation and how crr slr help in the controlling the inflation that we have already learned in the first uh, chapter also next we will see some mcq see friends what would an increase in demand for goods means uh, what do you mean by increase in the demand increase in demand what do you mean by increasing demand see friends when demand increases i have already told in the beginning when demand increases price increases and the price increase that is that is nothing but the inflation okay so answer is increase in inflation next uh, see uh, what is the next question they have given is the which of the following is the cause of high inflation 
when high inflation when there will be high money supply in the market there will be high inflation because high money supply will lead to the decrease in the value of money so you can uh, able to purchase um, uh, say, uh, less quantity you can able to purchase less quantity that is nothing but the inflation okay next uh, which of the following is included in the money supply measure they have already told you how important what is the, the formula for m1 m2 m3 and m4 you have to remember you have to mug up the formula there is no option so which of the following is included in the m4 currency with the public is, is included in m1 demand money in a, uh, demand deposit and the money in the time deposit that that means both four are included in the m4 so that's why i request you remember m1 m2 m3 and m4 what is m1 that is currency uh, with the public plus uh, demand deposit with the banks plus other deposit with the rbi what is m2 you have to remember that is m1 plus what is m3 that is m1 plus what is m4 that is the m3 plus that is you have to remember that formulas there is no option that uh, you should uh, skip that because this is very very important mc2 may be asked and generally iibp is 100% asking the uh, numerical based on the m1 mt m3 m4 that is money supply okay uh, see friends uh, we will cover more mc2 once we uh, cl have clear uh, clarity on the concept then only we can do the attempt the uh, more mcq and uh, when uh, the exam will come nearer we will uh, take classes on the one liner mcqs also next uh, what is the summary of this unit see friends uh, increase in money supply lead to the inflation m1 m2 m3 are the measures of money supply uh, what are the effects of inflation debt relief is the one important positive effect and the loss in stability is negative effect right and uh, real value of money is decreases and the hoarding of goods by the customer increases that is hoarding of goods happens that are the some imp impacts of the inflation and what are the causes of inflation first is the demand pool inflation and second is the cost push uh, inflation that i have already explained to you there are four uh, uh, indexes mainly the wholesale price index uh, food price index consumer price index and the gdp deflator gdp deflator is more efficient consumer price index remember declared by uh, ministry of labor but that is mainly by labor bureau and uh, food inflation is declared weekly and that's all that's all you have to remember and uh, one important thing if you want this notes you can uh, join our telegram channel remember friends for a telegram channel uh, you have to search on the telegram that is at the red caib bz at the red caib bz or you can search at the red bankers zone official without space or you can search directly our group caib space bankers space zone so friends we want request to all of you you can you have to share this pdf with the maximum our colleagues so that they will also be benefited so friends happy learning thank you friends